29th, 2015, happening today in Phoenix. They are calling it the Freedom of Speech Rally Round 2 because this is the second time that they've held a rally like this. But before the rally outside the Islamic Center here in Phoenix, they are planning on doing what is a Prophet Muhammad cartoon drawing contest similar to the one that we saw just three weeks ago in Garland, Texas. Now you remember what happened there and they say this is in response to what happened in Garland, Texas when two men from here in Phoenix who did attend one of these mosques here went and tried to gun police down. They ended up dying themselves at the hands of an officer who stopped them from being able to get into that rally. Police believing they were trying to get into that Muhammad drawing contest there in Garland. As far as this one goes, they say it will be peaceful. They are holding it here to send a message. But they also put something on their Facebook that they hadn't had in the past. And I want to read that to you. I quote saying, people are also encouraged to come to this rally to utilize their Second Amendment rights at this event, just in case the First Amendment comes under much anticipated attack. The Second Amendment obviously being the right to bear arms and the first freedom of speech. So there is concern from those who go to this mosque. They're holding it on Friday when they're having evening prayers. The rally will be outside of the mosque itself. People are concerned and some folks just simply aren't going to show up. We also were able to interview someone who spoke on behalf of the community here about the concerns that those who come to this mosque and frequent this mosque have. Recently, the mosques here in Phoenix actually received uh, threatening letters, very specific threats saying that we are going to massacre your congregations. And this has all happened within the last, the last week. So this, this adds to that, you know, that intersection of Islamophobia and gun culture. So when we, when we see these two things intersecting with one, e one another, then obviously it becomes more of a concern. So now people are saying, well, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't go over there. We're advising people actually from our organization you know, it's better to stay clear from, from, the, from the event, don't engage with these people. The folks at the Council on American Islamic Relations told us that there had already been a threat this week, a written threat uh, to the imam and also to the congregation. So there is a, quite a bit of concern for those who come to these mosques, who frequent the mosques, especially on Friday, a day of prayer. We can tell you there will be security. We know from the Phoenix police itself uh, that they have surveyed the area and that they will be here during the rally. Where is this happening? The mosque they plan to protest is located just off the I-17 between Glendale and Northern Avenues. Now, the group plans on meeting at a nearby Denny's near I-17 and Dunlap. Now, the Denny's manager tell us tonight that he will close his restaurant for a few hours for safety. Also nearby, the E-Institute Charter High School. Today, the principal told us that he canceled classes to make sure the students remain safe. Mainly, we, we just want to make sure that the safety of our students is ensured. So I'm, I don't want a random bullet hitting one of my kids just because two groups aren't getting along. And Phoenix Police Chief Joe Yana Rebecca tells us that he has been personally involved in all of the high-level planning meetings that have been going on ahead of this free speech rally. He says his PPD officers have been working closely with the people setting up this event, which is scheduled to go off tomorrow night at 6:15. I'm just a blatant blunt, outspoken Marine. The organizer of tomorrow's rally, John Ritzheimer, late this afternoon he posted on Facebook, quote, credible threats being made and now having to move my family into hiding. Real nice, Islam. Skipping to the end here, quote, the only one threatening with violence and that has a track record of it is them. Rally going on as planned. We are working very hard on trying to plan for the event. I spoke exclusively with Phoenix Police Chief Joe Yonner two hours after that post. I asked the chief if they've received any threats. No, we haven't, but we're still looking in that area. It's still, we still have another day of planning. Uh, tomorrow we're planning. I left a planning meeting. We've got another meeting tomorrow. So there's a lot of things in works. Uh, the size of the crowd, the intelligence, uh, as far as related to the crowd is changing all the time. The rally is to take place just outside the Phoenix Islamic Community Center, which is on the southbound I-17 frontage road, just north of Glendale Avenue. We're working hard with our federal partners and, and other city departments to make sure we have enough uh, officers and enough road closures and those types of things. So concerned, I think it's going to be a traffic nightmare, amongst other things. We also touched base with Governor Doug Ducey about the event. Of course, I'm a believer in free speech and, and the First Amendment. I also am a believer in good judgment and common sense.
Now on the Facebook page set up for this event, 479 people at this point claim that they will be attending. Now you heard Chief Yonner there talk about the traffic situation. I followed up tonight with a PPD spokesperson and, and he told me basically it's going to be a game time decision as to whether or not any of the roads in that area will be closed based specifically on the number of people and how they're behaving. Live in Phoenix tonight, Adam Longo, CBS 5 News. Now, the story didn't adequately depict the fact that this guy who's sponsoring or started this rally, uh, name is R Rottenheimer or something like that. It sounds like a German name to me, so it sounds like some uh, German Nazi racism that's taking place against all of Islam, right? Because Islam is a religion or ideology or a way of life, and the people are peace-loving people but they will defend theirs if necessary. Now, everybody that's involved in Islam, this guy's walking around with a fuck Islam t-shirt on. Okay, so I'm, my question for you is, would this be considered racism? Let's say it was, it was being done against the Jewish people, right, the so-called Jews. Would this be considered anti-Semitism, right? Or if it was done against Christians, would this be considered anti-Christ you follow what I'm saying but it's okay for them to do it uh, as long as it's against Islam okay this hate mongering this is a legal definition of a hate crime it says right here the precise definition of hate crimes varies from state to state some states define a hate crime as any crime based on a belief regarding the victim regarding the victim's race, religion, color, disability, sexual orientation, national origin, or ancestry. Okay. Then it goes on to say, laws against hate crimes might conflict with rights under the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Generally, the First Amendment protects a citizen's right to the free expression of thoughts. However, the courts have ruled that First Amendment rights may give way to the greater public good. I believe that these Muslims have the right to worship in peace and not be aff affected or afflicted by these Nazis under the guise of uh, expressing a, a constitutional right. So let me know what you think, but I think that this is a hate crime and it should be prosecuted as such.